Hi friends, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer and today we're taking a kind of a different uh, uh, approach. We're going to be doing more of a video, a teaching video, and this is going to be really for professionals. And we've had so many greenhouses and greenhouse managers, owners that have contacted us and have said, hey, you know what, we're actually using your videos uh, to help teach our staff. So, uh, you know, we take that as the highest honor that, that we, we're able to help out not only you at home, but also that, you know, we're having some influence with uh, actual professional greenhouses. So we, we take that as, as the highest form of compliment. So thank you so much for reaching out to us. Uh, today we want to look at watering and I, uh, we're going to be focusing on watering benches. So this is going to be um, more professional base. I want to just briefly go over showing how we're going to be watering these marigolds and and a few just pointers and, and some things to to think about and and implement in your daily watering habits and the first thing i want to really highlight is equipment that we're using so we use all dram watering equipment in our greenhouses and we've been doing that for decades you know dram is they're actually a local manufacturer uh here in wisconsin and uh so they're just uh, a couple hours away from us and they, they make products for uh, for the greenhouse and horticultural industry and, and we've been using it for decades so I, I just want to briefly highlight first the equipment so this is a dram uh, rain wand this is the 30 inch wand uh, with the one touch valve so on and off is right here it's nice and handy and I have dozens of these and all, all of all of the equipment that I have it gets really abused, you know, that day in, day out, and the, the DRAM equipment just keeps performing, and that's why we use it. So the rain wand, also this swivel, there is, this is a brass swivel, and that's really nice is that, you know, when, when you're pulling on this hose, and there might be 100 feet of DRAM hose, and it, you know, sometimes it gets twisted over, it's really nice that this swivel can move freely, and you can see that this rain wand can spin around. So when I'm hanging on to this, it's just, it's just spinning in, you know, that hose is spinning and it's not knotting up or kinking, which is really, really handy. So, and then of course the, the uh, DRAM hose we use, their, their professional grade hose, this, this hose gets really, really abused. And, you know, I, I'm dragging this across concrete, across our parking lot. Um, we have forklifts and a skidster. I run right over this. We have the big garbage truck or the semi trucks come through and they, they're running over this hose. No problem. It, 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 it's just very, very durable. So um, we use these DRAM rain wands a lot. So taking a look at how we actually water benches. So the, these benches of marigolds, um, you know, some of the things I really want to, to focus on, of course, is, you know, evenly watering everything. But if, if I'm just going through and watering, really at, at the end of the day, it's not even. So I have to really pay attention to, to some spots on the benches. And there's, there's spots that will go dry uh, throughout the day. And it's usually like corners or on the edges where, where that plant material is exposed. And of course we have great big fans in our greenhouses that are drawing air constantly all day long to cool down the greenhouses. So those spots, is what goes dry first. So that's one of my visuals I'm, I'm watching and, and making sure that I spend just a little bit more time on those edges because that's where it's gonna dry down and come early afternoon, yeah, you know, these marigolds will start drying out because they didn't, uh, they, they might've got just a little bit more water, but they're, they're having so much air flow right over them. The stuff in the middle is not, is not drying down as fast as the stuff on the edges. So when I'm watering and I'm just going back and forth on my benches like this, you can see that motion. I'm spending just a little bit more time on those edges. And then a lot of times I'll come back through and go the other way. Usually what I will start though is on these edges, I will take an extra pass and go through on those edges and really get that soaked right on those edges because that's where that airflow is. And I know that on a sunny day, come afternoon, 
those edges are going to be dry. And, and uh, marigolds are funny. They're, they're, um, when they dry down and you hit them with cold water, you watch those leaves just go like this. It's like instant. Um, it's it's, it's kind of neat to see. And, and marigolds come right back, no problem. But I just want to spend a few extra moments when I'm watering, you know, so if you're watering in greenhouses, you really need to think about that, of where's that airflow, and especially in the center of our greenhouses where there's aisles, that airflow gets going. So on the edges, I really have to watch in those spots. So just taking that extra time and learning where those spots are in your greenhouses and on the bench spaces, and just consistently getting everything well saturated. And then I, I come back the other way. And then just, again, spending that time on those outer edges where it's gonna dry down. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of oversimplifying this and you just have to play around with it yourself and, and, and find out what works for you. But that's just a few things to really think about and to remember is where's the airflow, what, what is being exposed with those plants and where the airflow is going through. Yeah, the stuff in the middle might not need uh, as much, but certainly out on the edges, that's where you really have to pay attention and focus and uh, you might have to take an extra pass. And it doesn't take much just to get everything pretty much even and even throughout the day. So that way you don't have some plants that are real wet and some plants that are real dry. You really want to be consistent so that you have nice consistent uh, growth and the health of those plants. If you're liking our videos, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have hundreds of how-to videos there. And you can hop on over to our BeatYourNeighbor.com website. We have our tips and our tricks and our blog articles. And of course, our Beat Your Neighbor fertilizer. That's all over at BeatYourNeighbor.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.